This is the one, guys. This is the one. This is the video I started my channel for. Right here. As a Raja Parfums fan, I was very frustrated that there's nowhere to go to smell them. I can go to like, there's Neiman's, but there's a very, very limited supply where I am. There's no perfume stores within a hundred miles and it's not even a pleasant hundred miles. So it's several hours away. And I, I had a literally just blind buy. At the time, a year and a half ago, it was only men until like the Essence collection. There was no one to ask for any opinions on anything. And I literally had to just blind buy. I just blind bought. I blind bought a ton of travel atomizers. I shared them with you with some of my first videos. And even then I was still getting to know the collection. So I can honestly say a year and a half later, I really know the collection well. And I own a tremendous, tremendous amount. So I'm going to give you my top Raja fragrances for women. Stay tuned for that. So like I said, there's a whole lot of men collecting Raja, but there were no, and there still isn't, besides me, to my knowledge, any females collecting Raja Dove fragrances. I have an incredible, I'm going to put in a photo here, incredible collection of Raja fragrances that I purchased. I did receive three from PR. They're all for men because I had already bought the, like the entire women's collection. No joke. There, there really wasn't anything left to send me, uh, but I do enjoy the men's collection as well for me, for me to smell, for my, my bow to wear, like, and I just enjoy reviewing them. And I, I just love his perfumes and his collection and I understand it and I understand the collections and I listen to the stories and it, I, I, I just love it. I mean, yeah, I can tell you all the Rajas are amazing. You really can't go wrong. They're amazing. It's really just a matter of, is it your favorite over something else? And would you wear it as often as one of the other ones? But they're all amazing. You really can't go wrong. It may be a little more feminine or a little more masculine. But they're all amazing. They're all stunning. Enigma Oud is a hybrid of two of his best sellers. So it's the Enigma, which is Creation E, Pour Femme. There's also a Pour Homme, which is very different. That one is a boozy, creamy yumminess. Enigma for women is more like a peach and floral and ambery stunner. Love it and his oud fragrance which he spent a lot of time in the middle east discovering and researching and really getting to understand ouds and he's done a really really good job of honoring the eastern ouds while making them palatable for westerners who are not used to the same kinds of ouds there really are western ouds and eastern ouds very very different and he's done a great job of of kind of making this hybrid like that's very pleasing to all of us. And this is a hybrid of Enigma Pour Femme and of the Oud, and it, it is a stunner. It's a stunner, but I got some more for you. Man, maybe this should be, I had this as like number 11. I don't know. So here's the deal. The top five are truly my top five. They are ranked my five. This is what I love. The rest of them kind of float around like the, with the seasons, moods, time of day. I kind of change my mind, but they're still my tops. These are the tops. So I'm going to go through them. I just went through Enigma Oud. This is definitely the top of that list there. While we're at it, I'm going to address this collection, the Parfum Essence collection. This kind of like it was made as to flank out the men's collection of Parfum Cologne which both collections were meant to be kind of an olive branch to a larger audience. Yes, he is known for having exquisite fragrances that beautiful presentations and exquisite prices. Like they're, they're excruciating. So he made a more affordable collection to reach more people. 
and to be in more department stores. And that was this collection. It is flankers to the parfum versions. They are a lighter concentration. When you deal with lighter concentrations, it's the same notes, it's the same perfume, but because you're dealing with a different evaporation rate, you may hit different notes at a different time. So it's kind of like the same song and a different melody, if that makes sense. The way they just, you might get different notes hitting you faster than they do in the Parfum version, but it's the same fragrance. But that's these, and I really enjoy these. They don't last as long, obviously. They're actually stronger because they're evaporating so fast and it's the evaporation that you smell that they're great and they are more affordable. And I just spray myself down with them and they're fan they're all fantastic. I have like one, two, three, four, five, six or seven of them, I think. But anyway, the next collection I, I wanna bring up is the Outlux collection. The Outlux collection are the purple caps and there's four of them. There is Britannia, Chypre Extraordinaire, Outlux, which is Raja's personal signature fragrance he wears all the time, and Goodnight Kiss, which he meant as a rem he designed as a remembrance of his mother and how she would always smell all regal and dressed up and cosmetic-y before she went out at night and gave him a goodnight kiss. Now of those, there's only one that I find really appeals to women and that's Goodnight Kiss. I only have it in the travel item atomizer. They are excruciatingly expensive. This one is 1,250 British pounds. Like these are all like the 2,000, $2,500 range. And see, the, see, my dog's even grumbling. That is a lot of money. He's what he just said. Are you kidding me? That's a lot of money. So I have not bought this. It is more of a unicorn to me, but I chose this as, I'm not stupid. You get a free atomizer with your bottles. So I chose this as my free atomizer because the travel atomizer is expensive. But this is kind of my unicorn. And I love it. But this is definitely an exquisite fragrance. It does have that powdery lipstick vibe to it, but I hesitate to say that because I actually don't like when I hear lipsticky. But it's more subtle and it's beautiful and regal. There's a lot of violet and orris and powdery rice accord that gives it a more like creaminess to it versus that stark lipstick kind of powdery and some florals mixed in there. But I happen to really like this one. I find it very, very regal, but I don't have any of the purple caps, but that explains that excruciating collection to you. The next one on my list is fairly new. This one is Lusker. Now, I tried really hard to not do any discontinued fragrances. I do think actually these are being discontinued. This was a collaboration with Oscar Hotel and this was the scent of all the toiletries that you would find in that, in that hotel. Um, I didn't realize that or I wouldn't have put this in here, but I happen to f like how this opens a little more aldehydic and then it has this fresh, clean vibe to it. I don't think it's the best longevity of it, but I do see this as a great hotel traveling. You want something fresh and clean feeling, and you just like that refreshed feeling when you're traveling, and I totally get that with this. Definitely aldehydic, a little bit of that powderiness kind of undertone envision like fresh and aldehydic and powdery. Um, you know, if you're familiar with the men's A Midsummer Night's Dream, I'd almost say that like it's the female version to it kind of, that it's powdery, fresh, relaxing, fresh. Like actually that one might be more cozy, relaxing, fresh and powdery. This is more revitalizing, fresh and powdery. But I really, really enjoy this one. Um, I do think it might be discontinued. And I guess I didn't get you signed, huh? I do get most of them signed when I order. I only order from Raja Parfums or the Raja Dub Oak Farmery site. That's just where I go and then I have them signed. These are not PR. Like I said, I have never received a, a feminine fragrance from Raja. I have received three from the men's collections, very much men's collection. I've received three of those, but 
I mean, I've purchased what, like 50 plus like, like 30 travel atomizers. I, I purchased an obscene amount, pretty much the entire collection. Um, this is all with my own money. This is not PR or sponsored. They don't do sponsorships actually. They don't sponsor anyone. Oscar. So I'm going to say number 10. So let's start off now that we got those out of the way. We're going to start off here. Number 10 is enslaved. If you're in the mood for something really powdery, a little more almost vintagey, powdery cosmetics vibe, sometimes we just want a powder bomb. We just want a powder bomb. That's enslaved. It's your sweet too. Sweet powder bomb. Guys, you have to be kidding me. This one is discontinued too. He keeps doing that. I think he has a big launch coming because He's taking a lot of stuff down and whenever a company does that, they pull stuff down. It's because they're, they're moving out inventory and moving in new inventory. And I'm seeing a lot of stuff get pulled down. Now he does have what I appreciate is the heritage collection where discontinued fragrances, they will just go into a generic heritage bottle and then he'll have stamped on there the juice that's in there and they will all get a plain clear crystal, Swarovski crystal cap. Hopefully this one goes there. This is a great powder bomb sweet. Sweet, sweet. Syrupy sweet and powder bomb. I like this one. I'm when you're just feeling like that, I am woman kind of like draped in luxury and just tough exterior. That's this. Okay, wow. I'm on a roll with those, huh? So let's just hit the heritage collection ones I have. Uh, two from the heritage collection that I really like and endorse, and let me double check that they're there. So Candy Oud is gone too. See, I'm telling you, something is up. They're gone. Candy Oud, if you got Sweetie Oud and you were expecting something different because that one literally is pastries like bread mixed with pastries in the air with oud it is not fruits it is not candy candy oud however is if you want more of that candied kind of sweetness with oud and i absolutely love this one i'm so happy because this is what i wanted sweetie oud to be sweetie oud is not on my list i'm just going to tell you that people hear about it because it went out in pr it's not my favorite combination. I guess it's beautiful, it's sweet, it smells like a pastry shop with oud, but there's that bread influence in there that I wasn't expecting. It's not just fruits or, that was fruity oud. I wish I could have tried fruity oud. Fruity oud and candy oud are more my speed. And I love this one, but I'm sorry, it's no longer available. Yeah, so candy oud is sweet candied fruit and oud. Exactly what it sounds like and it's delicious. On a roll. So this one is still in the collection. Goodness gracious. And I know another person that watches me was able to recently get this and it is Amber, not Amber Oud. Amber from the Heritage Collection is so good. Oh my gosh. Like I was, I totally blind bought this and I remember being at Beverly Hills Perfumery while this was en route to me and being like, can I smell it? I totally just blind bought that. No clue if I'm going to like it, but they are having a sale and that's what I got. And cause I'm running out of things to buy. And I smelled it and I was like, oh my gosh, what a relief. This is amazing. So you have orange blossom in there. And then there's a lot of like vanilla and benzoin and tonka and like a cocoa kind of feel. Yeah, it's cocoa in here. Orange blossom, cocoa, vanilla, tonka bean, benzoin. It's just creamy and amazing. Yet you have that orange blossom in there that gives it a little bit of kind of vibrancy versus just being this rich cocoa kind of thing. That juxtaposition is kind of nice. It keeps that, it's like a vanilla orange blossom with this creamy coconut, uh, sorry, with this creamy cocoa, tonka benzoin creaminess at the bottom and it's delicious and this one is still available now you can see i always get him to sign my bottles but you can see this was stamped let's see if i can get you it's stamped on the bottom where now i'm really happy he stamps it here 
which I think is better because that way I don't have to actually pick it up off my shelf to see which one is which because I have two from the Heritage Collection. Now, there's also this flower collection that is a little on the older side too. I've seen some of them move out and be discontinued. I have the tuberose in full bottle. I have the lily in full bottle, which is on sale. And I have gardenia in travel size. L the lily I'm not crazy about, to be totally truthful. It's very, very photorealistic. It is, you'll be wondering where the floral arrangement is. However, it's just that, and I don't know, I doesn't match me. I don't dislike it. I just, I, I love his like powdery luxurious thing that he puts in his fragrances and that's not in that one. It's really lily. The tuberose I really like. It's a very elegant kind of tuberose and I love tuberose as a white floral. Gardena is probably my favorite white floral now, but it's also that in Magnolia, very difficult to find. Very difficult. And he happens to have one. I have it in travel size. So Gardini is probably one I want to get my hands on, especially if I'm noticing him like move stuff out. There's very few that I don't have, but I think that Gardini is kind of my new thing. I don't know. I'm gonna have to. Again, photorealistic, but I happen to find Gardenias to be very elegant and regal and exclusive. You don't see a whole lot of gardenia places. And to me, it only has good memories of very fine places and really nice memories between my beau and I on some really nice trips. And we don't get a whole lot of opportunities because we both work really, really hard. We don't get those opportunities very often to get away together. So, you know, I'll always think of that hotel where they just had candles burning gardenia and they had gardenias floral arrangements everywhere and it was just filled with the smell of gardenia and it's just a very sweet memory of mine so I might have to get myself a bottle of this I can't believe I'm gonna like a teary over a good memory that's so not me okay Whew. but those are those three floral ones they're they're great you have to really like that flower it's definitely named aptly so Let's see, we have my top seven here. These are really top sevens. So we have Britannia. I love this one, it's like this duo, trichrome. You got the green, the blue, the purple. I love this crystal cap, it's so fun. And then Britannia, this one's hard for me to describe. I've worn it so many times with the intention of paying attention to how it develops because it changes a lot just when you think you know what you don't. And I have a hard time describing this one, but this one is meant to represent Great Britain. So they have like the rose in there for, I think that's like the country's rose. They had the ambergris for all the water surrounding the UK and all the, the fruits in here. It's basically all the things that they forge and import from other countries, as well as what's known in the UK. Ah, this one opens very bright and juicy with citrus and peach. And you think you know it. You're like, oh, that's a beautiful, bright, fruity fragrance. Vibrant and juicy, right? It changes on you. It changes. But I love it at every stage. Let me see here. I'm going to have to put this on my skin a little bit. Because you have that, but then you also have like the orris. Oh, a cocoa, 100%. There's cocoa mixed in with the peach. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. You have like the vibrancy of the mandarin and the peach, and then you also have the cocoa mixing in with that. Once again, the cocoa pops out quickly. There's also the ambergris. I'm sorry. There, there are ambergris in there, and there's... There's also orris giving it creaminess. You have that typical Raja orris musky kind of powdery fluffy kind of thing going on. But this one is, is such a compilation, it's a little harder for me to describe. 
some days it's it's quenching that like mandarin peachiness what I want some days I'm grabbing the orris and cocoa from it and the rose mixing in with that giving this beautiful kind of more of a like conservative opulent feel not an opulent outgoing kind of feel but this like a quiet decadence kind of feel to it that I really enjoy that Britannia is a wonderful one it's wonderful. Yeah, definitely get that cocoa and peach in there. That is just so yummy. So yummy. 100%. Now, the next one is actually a global exclusive to the Rajadev Outperformery, which is on the sixth floor of Herit. There are two separate entities, Raja Parfums, which is like Rajadev, rajaparfums.com, and then the RDHP, which is a separate website and is that boutique in Harrods, one of the first boutiques there on the sixth floor of Harrods. But it is celebrating their 15th anniversary. It's the RDHP 15. This is one I really love in the fall and winter time. This one opens up vibrant with the aldehydes and the bergamot and the citruses and all of that. But it's quick. To me, it's all about like sticky sweet balsams and frankincense and orris and you get that rajada feel along with the depth of these like furs and balsams and moss and ginger there's lab labdanum and vanilla giving this like ambery kind of effect so there's a little bit of amberiness a little bit of slightly powderiness along with that sticky sweet balsams which is why I really love it that time of year because if you follow me, you know in the fall and the winter, I love balsams. Like that's that sticky sweet greenery that I really, it's like the sap on your, on your balsam trees. That sappy, sticky, sweet kind of rich fragrances is what I really go for. And this one has a little bit, it has the levity of some notes. It has the rich, sweet stickiness of that along with the frankincense kind of cutting it giving it richness it's incredibly unisex but as a woman i really enjoy this one this one is um where i'm going to lean into the unisex on this list i really 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 like this one but you can only get it on the rdhp site um, and again i did get this one signed by raja okay my top five this is it this is like if i purchased over these are the first five i would purchase so number five is Creation E Porfem or Enigma Porfem. There's a pour homme. This is the Porfem. I love this one. This also comes in the Essence Parfum. If you're looking to just dabble in Raja, again, this one is kind of like a rattlesnake that can't control itself, a young rattlesnake. It lets off a lot of the, the fragrance very fast and quick. It's more potent, but doesn't last as long as this. This will project less, but it will last longer. This one, these collections, the, the Poor Femme collection here with the Creation E and 51 don't last as long. And they definitely aren't the 24 hours like some of these others on the higher tier. Um, then they don't project as much, I find. But they're still very, very good performers. This one is Peach Rose a langy lang with some sandalwood. It's sweet, but more like a subtle vanilla in there. This one is pretty, it's complex. Really can't um, decipher those too much here, but like after you hear the notes, you are like, oh yeah, I get like the peach and the rose and the langy lang, but it's really super well blended and you get more of this vibe. This one is a little more ambery feeling. Sweet, peachy, sandalwood, floral, fruity floral, but more in that golden kind of feeling, if that makes sense from like the peaches. And there's like a golden feeling. I can't explain that. It just feels golden, like a golden aura with a little bit of sweetness, fruity floral, fruity floral, ambery kind of fragrance. Number four is my beloved 51. 51, you totally get the raspberry vanilla in there mixed with rose and jasmine. 
I personally get rose, jasmine, raspberry, and vanilla making this fruity floral with a little bit of powderiness there. There's this like sweet, fruity, floral, powdery creaminess to it that gives it this regal kind of vibe. I love this one. Um, this has a little bit more of a cosmetics-y vibe, whereas Creation E is a little bit more of an ambery kind of vibe. Super, super amazing. Ah, I love this one. It's definitely a little more on the sweeter side. Not quite as sweet as Reckless. Reckless is going to be the sweetest one of these like parfums here or in the Essence Parfum collection. I just love 51. It's got that subtle vanilla raspberry to it that just smells delicious to me. I love this one. Super, super compliment getter. My top three. Oh my God. My number three favorite is gone. This, this collection is whittling down. If you want something from the Harrods collection, get it. Because I think this collection's going away. I'm seeing them all drop off. I'm not even gonna torture you. I'm not even gonna torture you, but it's this beautiful, vibrant. It's got this cherry to it. It smells a little like Nouveau Riche to me. Like it's very jovial, outgoing, luxurious, um, flamboyant, luxurious, sweet, fruity. Um, I, I'm not going to ruin it for you, but if you happen to find H, I do like this one. I get that cherry note in there. Gosh, I'm sorry. Another one bites the dust. He's turning over. He's and he's ending collections and coming out with some more new ones. I, I, I guarantee that he's coming out with some new stuff because I'm watching all these collections disappear. Maybe this is a bad time to do this video, but maybe it's a good time to catch some deals. Okay, so number two, which is still available, and I suggest getting it because it's again in the Harrods collection but this one is still there and this is my number two. This is my number two. Carrots Parfum. I might need like to ask for a backup of this or something. Fresh and powdery. This has a certain greenness to it with a tuberose to it and definitely that powdery cosmetics kind of vibe to it. And it has that magnolia that I love. Like Gardenia and Magnolia are really hard to find. This has the Magnolia and Rose and Tuberose. This has cherry in it also, and it has a little bit of Oud Vanilla, but it's not heavy on the Oud. It's really like fresh floral powdery. And again, luxurious veil, but lighter than my beloved Nua. Like it's a, a lightness to it, a more fresh kind of version with the same, it's like the same kind of personality as Nua, but fresher and there's there's something like green and fresh in there i don't see it listed in the notes but there's something green and fresh but it's kind of backdrop it's not a green fragrance it is that powdery floral creamy sweet fruit fragrance but um my number two I, I'm seeing like people catch on. I've mentioned this a few times in videos and on Instagram. Um, I would say get your hands on it while you can. Not before I get a second bottle though, because I need a second bottle of this because this is definitely one of my all time favorite barrages. So I moved to this room because I can shut the door and not have it as nice of a backdrop as the front foyer, but I can shut the door and have privacy and quiet. Well, the dogs know how to open the door. And then they open the door and then all the noise and it's like, I can't win. I can't win. Anyway, my all time favorite, y'all know already, if you watch me, you know it's Nua. Nua is the one that he darn well better not ever get rid of because if I had a signature, this would be my signature. It's Nua. This one lasts at least 24 hours on me. It's beautiful. It's decadent. It's rose. It's jasmine. It's got some orange blossom to give it a little bit of like vibrant sweetness, smooth with sandalwood, vanilla, benzoin that make this like this cashmere force field around you, this draped in luxury. And it's so good. Um, definitely a vibe of elegance, luxury, and a top compliment getter for me. Like I said in another video, 
my nail salon has been talking for two, three months about this fragrance that I wore there, sprayed a few people, and they still talk about it every time I come in. Remember that fragrance. It's all, yeah, that's very nice, but remember that other fragrance? Yeah, this one. This one is just, it, it marks you. It's luxury personified, and it's my ride or die, and Lord help me, Raja, you cannot, cannot ever discontinue this. You hear me? You cannot because this is my baby. This is my beloved. No, and if you do discontinue it, you need to send me like five bottles of this because what would I do? This is like taking a part of my identity away from me. If you take this from me, you can't do that. This is like my identity. That's what it is. This is, this is, yeah, you can't do that to me. This is my number one. Ah. Uh, I hope I helped you to understand a little bit more of the fragrances that are wonderful for women in the Raja collection. I am sure he's got more coming out with all of the collections that he seems to be discontinuing. That is always a sign of things to come. You know I will keep you informed of what comes out because I'm obsessed with the brand. I buy everything. I just love them all. So I will keep you posted, but right now those are my top fragrances for women. And don't forget to hit thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next one. Mwah.